Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is busy finalizing our next optional bug fix update for Windows 10 version 22H2. And that next optional update, which will be rolling out shortly, is KB5027293, which Microsoft made available to the Release Preview Channel Insiders yesterday on the 22nd of June. And because it's undergoing its final testing now, if we head to the calendar, I would suggest that Microsoft will start pushing that update out starting next week, the 27th of June. That's next week, Tuesday, moving into next month. Now, if you do decide to install the update, um, when it rolls out shortly to the stable channel, if we just head over to WinVer quickly, which is about Windows, uh, the current OS build for Windows 10 22H2 is 19045.3086. So if you do decide to install the update, that point release will be bumped up to 0.3154 or somewhere in that close vicinity. Now, Microsoft actually lists three new features for this next optional bug fix update. Now, most of these features are not really front-facing features. They are more kind of behind the scenes, under the hood features. But nonetheless, they are listed as new improvements. So just to mention them for the purpose of today's video. Microsoft says the update improves several simplified Chinese fonts and the Microsoft Pinion Input Method Editor to support GB18030-2022. The next new feature is the update adds many new features and improvements to Microsoft Defender for endpoint so that's um a new improvement rolling out for more enterprises and corporations and um with this update you can now also authenticate across microsoft clouds microsoft says this feature also satisfies conditional access checks if they are needed now those are the so-called new features that will be running out with KB5027293. And because this is a non-security bug fix update, just to go through some of the other bug fixes, if you would be interested, this is not a comprehensive list, but just some I've picked out in case you would be interested. Now, the update addresses an issue that affects uh, the on-screen keyboard. Um, the issue stops it from opening after you lock the machine, so that will be addressed if you had that issue. And also, if we head over to our administrative tools, and this next fix for the star scheduler actually rolled out for Windows 11 as well. So this is a fix that's rolling out across the board that we can expect to see next week. Um, it addresses an issue that affects a scheduled monthly task. It might not run on time if the next occurrence happens when daylight savings time occurs. And then just to mention the next uh, fix, the update addresses an issue that affects the spooler service. It stops working. The issue occurs when you print using a certain workspace. So that's a printing issue that has been addressed. Now, the next two fixes um, address an issue that affects uh, the registry. So if you just head over quickly to the Windows 10 registry by opening the registry editor, apparently the HKey current user, Microsoft Windows current version explorer, uses shell folders. Um, you can now set and maintain the correct default permissions for this directory path. Uh, when the p p permissions are wrong, start menu, search, and Azure Active Directory authentication fails. So that's a bit of a registry fix. There's two of those that have rolled out that address an issue that affects that HKey current user and that path and that string. So um, that's more or less what we can expect to see in our next optional bug fix update rolling out for Windows 10 version 22H2 KB5027293, which should be rolling out very shortly. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.